welcome back to my channel. It's a new week, and that means a new week of planning. This week, I'm going to have a lavender, mint, and gray themed spread. Um, we're going to use a bunch of different stickers. I just couldn't pick one, so I made a bunch. So let's go ahead and get started. So we are going to be on the... I can find it. The week of October 22nd through the 28th. And as you know, I am a Monday start gal. So I'm going to start off by putting all my headers in for the week so I can change my Sunday start into a Monday start. These are my days of the week weekly headers in the flourish fonts they're in a cute they're in a cute little script font um, and then I'm using my silhouette spatula which I will make a link down below that you can pick up off of Amazon um, I like to use the spatula to help place my stickers it helps me make sure that I lay them on straight and that they're not crooked and it's just a little easier to use than just trying to place them with my fingers. There we go. So I'm going to actually try something new this week, and I'm going to try, well not new, I've been doing it for a couple weeks now, but I'm going to try to incorporate the timelines more, just to help organize my life a little bit better since I work from home sometimes. You know, I let that get the best of me and I end up working, you know, late into the night or just not taking at an advantage of a normal like nine to five schedule. So one thing I'm going to add is I'm not going to actually cover my timelines. I'm going to leave them where they are and I'm going to add these first thing slash before bed trackers. And they're just a nice little addition to my day that I can add many little personal to-do lists. After that, I'm going to go ahead and put in my fitness schedule. Um, this is the Kelly color palette. It just had colors that also went with my, my color scheme for the week, so that's why I picked this one. Okay, so now that I have my workout schedule in, I can really see the gaps where I can add you know, other things that I need to accomplish throughout the day, like my Etsy to-do list and whatnot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in some of my bigger stickers. I'm going to add in my habit tracker. And then I'm also going to add in my social media tracker. Um, this is a custom sticker that I made for myself. Um, I have been getting a lot of questions about it. So if you are interested in it, in it I have it made for the classic size. So I, you know, I have that made. I can make it for you, I can send it out. Um, if you want it in the compact size, you're gonna have to wait until I have a little bit more time to get that designed. But it is an option for the, um, the classic size passion planners. It is a little trickier to put on because it is pretty big. Um, but I just line it up with the black bar and it just takes a little patience and there you go. I'm also going to add, if I can find it, my blank good things that happen tracker. Uh, this is like a must have for me and I'm going to use it this week for a daily gratitude. Just like that. 
I'm trying to use the timelines more so I can effectively delegate the tasks throughout the day. So what I'm going to do is I have the 30 minute intervals and I'm gonna use those kind of like, almost like little washi tapes. And then I made, again, me making my own stickers that I'm not gonna share with you guys. Um, these actually don't take me too long to make. Um, so I just made little Etsy headers in my Flourish font to do's. I have breakfast, lunch, and dinners. Um, I might include those, I might not. We'll see if I have space for them. Um, and then I also have my to-do list blocks in the Flourish script as well. So we're gonna kind of play and see, see what I can create. Um, we're trying something new, so bear with me. I also have a bunch of fun pens in a bunch of different colors. Um, these pens are some of my favorites. They're the Crayola Super Tips. This is the 100 pack. I think you can only get the 100 pack off of Amazon but I know like Target and Office Depot and whatnot, they sell like a 75 pack and a 20 pack. And I love them. They have so many different colors and they don't bleed through the Passion Planner and they're super cheap. So you can't beat that. So when I was at the Enlightened Retreat, I asked Angelia Trinidad what books I should read because she's all about books. Um, and one of the books she recommend, recommended was The 4-Hour Workweek which I got, I haven't really read it yet, but I've flipped through it. And it said that one of the things you should do is you should only answer emails twice a day and don't check your emails in between then. Um, and I just glimpsed at that and I was like, you know what, that's a really good idea. So even though I haven't completely read the book yet, I'm gonna implement that into my schedule. So they said, the author, I don't know the author off the top of my head, um, to do it like not first thing in the morning, which I'm totally going to do because I like to do it when I drink my lemon water and it's just something that like I can answer and it's not like, you know, taking out the silhouettes and cutting stickers and, you know, making a mess already. It's just something that I can do like first thing in the morning while I'm drinking my lemon water and then I'll do it later in the afternoon. Okay, and then from there... I'm just gonna go day by day and kind of structure out my days. So let's pick a color that isn't blush or lavender or gray. So we'll do mint. And I'm just gonna take this. I'm gonna put it an hour or so below so then my sticker has enough room, you can still put them on crooked even with your spatula helper, especially these 30 minute ones. And then I'm gonna take an Etsy sticker and just plop it. Right there. See how cute is that? So cute. And then I thought it would be fun to almost do like a color block. That's a good color. It looks really green, but it is, it is minty. And do like a to-do, like a makeshift to-do list block. In the color that matches. See, just like that. I like it. I dig that. Leave that guy there. And then We'll take a blush, and I just like to incorporate a little bit of each color for each day. That way it looks more cohesive and you don't have one day that's like too minty.
Okay, so take all those back on. And I will go ahead and fill out my weather. I need to grab my phone first so I can make sure I get that right. And I'm gonna write in, of course, the dates up top. Okay, so I was looking at this and I just I wasn't loving it as much as I wanted to love it. So I decided that I'm gonna cover the timelines because that's what's gonna make me happy. So sometimes you just, you gotta do what you wanna do, no matter what anyone tells you. Um, so I just made some of my morning, afternoon, evening timelines and the color scheme that we're going with and I'm just gonna cover those up. And I think it's just, I didn't like the marker box idea. It just, it looked sloppy to me. So I feel like this will help. Hopefully, hopefully it'll help. Okay, this is turning out better now. So now I'm just going to go through and I'm going to add in some pen and then we'll be all done. Okay, and here is my final spread for the week. I went ahead and filled in my personal to-do list, my habit trackers, and my social media tracker, as well as wrote in my actual workout schedule. And so it's still pretty blank because we're just starting the week, but we're off to a great start. So thank you again for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you.